Um, but there's one standout promoter, breakout promoter, who's made this thing happen tonight. Or I should say happen on Saturday. And that's Devin the Dream Haney. Um, when we started this journey, um, we, we set out with one thing on our minds, and that's to be, for Devin to be one of the best to ever put on a pair of gloves. I, I always say that these are stay busy moments and a quest to be on the Mount Rushmore of boxing. Well, that's what we intend to do. Uh, we have a great team, uh, a great opponent and team in, in the Garcias. Uh, Derek James is a Hall of Fame uh, trainer, uh, um, trainer of the year. You know, I can't say enough about, about him and I know the preparation that he'll have Ryan Garcia in. Um, Ryan Garcia has fooled the people. He's fooled the people into thinking that he's something other than a great fighter. Uh, we've been in the uh, ring with him six times, three and three in amateurs. And I've seen his, his work ethic uh, as a pro, but I've also seen his antics outside the ring. And uh, while he's continued to make you guys think that he's something, uh, that he might be crazy or delusional, um, in fashion, because with Cambosos, we gave him the art of war, because I'm sure that that's what he was reading. I have a book for Ryan Garcia today. Psychology for Dummies. <laughs> well, that's what Cambosos did, and you saw what happened to him. <laughs> well, so all this game that he thought that he was playing on the people, I don't know if he played, thought he was playing on you guys, but it didn't work with me and Devin. We stayed focused, there's no excuses. Come uh, Saturday night, put your kids to bed, it's 18 and over, because what I'm sending Devin to do to him shouldn't be on TV. They have violated everything about boxing, including throwing the book, disrespecting the sport, disrespecting religion, and for that, all gloves are off. If him and his team are really who they say they are, come to the center of the ring. Come to the center of the ring. Don't run. Don't run. Because Devin is coming to do bodily harm to him. Now, I want to thank you. I want to thank you, uh, Eddie Hearn and DeZone, uh, for definitely believing in, in, in Devin from the very beginning. We had, we had, a, we had a vision that we believed that, that kids and millennials and young people like my son would be watching and covering boxing on an app, on a, on a phone. They thought we was crazy when we, when we made that decision to go with Eddie Hearn. He had Danny Jacobs and he had Tevin Farmer. He didn't have nobody else. Devin believed that we would be here today and this would be the way of watching boxing and covering boxing. And thank you to Devin and his decision that this is where we're here. Thank you to the zone. I, I, I went to talk to, to Oscar and one part of Devin being the promoter that he is, is being able to have relationships with Eddie Hearn, with Bob Arum, with, with Oscar De La Hoya and the like. I, I gave Oscar De La Hoya one thing and one thing only. I said, if you, the Hall of Fame fighter that I know you are, that you fought the fights in your prime, that you would make this fight happen between two fighters in their prime with no excuses. Thank you to Oscar for, for being a man of his word and staying on it. But come Saturday, this boy gonna pay for all that shit that he done did. I promise you that. You know this. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.